how are you doing today? It is no longer morning. It is going to be 11 o'clock right now. You can see it on my clock back there. Um, I am off to a very late start today. And I think it's just, you know, time flew. I had to get stuff done in the morning. And then I was getting ready to start my day with do, um, making the chocolate sweets. And I realized that I was out of like parchment paper, foil, um, some large Ziploc bags, and I definitely need parchment paper. So my husband and I ran to Walmart, um, picked up all that stuff, and then came back to the house. So today I am going to make the chocolate sweets for my grandson's birthday party. I have my chocolate molds here that I'm going to be using. So I have this mold. I don't know if you could see it, like the reflection from my shirt maybe. Um, these are um, baseball gloves and you put the little stick here and then you just fill it with the chocolate right there. They're small, they're not big, but um, I'm gonna use it anyways because I don't get to use these often. And I've had these baseball items for a while now. So, um, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and use these. I'm only gonna probably make about 15 of them um, because there's not gonna be a ton of us um, on Friday, but you know, I wanna make some, you know, just so we can have, and for his little friends that do show up can take some home with them. And then I'm going to be using this one. This is my favorite one. As you can see, it says the Dodgers in the middle and it's a baseball bat. So I am going to make these with the pretzels. All you do is you put the pretzel right in the middle and then you add the chocolate under it and above it and you let it set and then it creates a chocolate mold. I am going to use one of them um, for the cake, so I'm gonna make an extra one. I think I'm doing like 15 or 16 of them, I'm not sure. But one of them I'm gonna take, put it aside because I'm gonna use that to put on top of his cake. So I'm gonna be using these two chocolate molds. And then I'm also making Rice Krispies. Um, I have the Rice Krispies here. I am going to dip half of them well, mostly all of it into white chocolate. And then the top part, I'm gonna make it look like a baseball. So I'm just gonna add the little grooves in it. Now, I was unable to buy, um, find any red melting chocolate. Nobody had it. And I checked again at Walmart when I went, they didn't have it. So I did purchase um, this one. It says it hardens, so it dries smooth and tacky. So I'm um, for tacking. So I'm gonna put a little bit on a parchment paper and I'm gonna let it sit there. And then I'm gonna see how well it dries. If for some reason this does not dry the way I want it to, I do have coloring pens like markers and I'm just gonna draw on the, the little red um, grooves in there. So either way, I'm gonna make it happen. I'm gonna try to. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it all goes well. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for today. Um, in tomorrow's video, which would be Wednesday's video, I am going to, oh wait, is today Tuesday? It is Tuesday. So today's video is tomorrow's video, Wednesday. So Friday's video, I don't know, we'll see how I do that we'll see how I'm gonna do that. So um, I might end up putting up extra videos for this week. Well, the video I'm making for tomorrow, I will be making baseball sugar cookies. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm also going to be making the frosting for the cake because on Thursday, um, I will be putting the cake together. So I'm praying that I have room in my fridge to do that. If I don't, then, which most likely I won't. Um, if I don't, then I will put the cake all together Friday morning. Um, my grandson's party is at three, so I'll probably end up getting up about 5 a.m. and I will decorate the cake that morning. So 
it is getting really hot out. We have the air conditioner on, it's 11 o'clock. It's already like 85 outside and it's supposed to be like 95 today. So um, I have to keep my house as cool as I can. When you're working with chocolate, you do not want any heat because your chocolate will not set. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I made me an iced coffee. Oh, it's dripping and it tastes really good. And I have my water my iPad, I have my earbuds, and I'm ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on the um, the Dodger pretzel rods, and I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've shown you guys in previous videos on how to melt chocolate, and um, the last time I did it, I did use this chocolate, and I really liked it, it was super smooth. I got this chocolate, oh no. It wasn't this chocolate. I actually got this chocolate at Walmart. I have used this one before and it, it works well too. The other chocolate I used, I had got it from Michael's. So um, I'm gonna pour one bag into this bowl. Now you want your bowl to be completely dry. You cannot have any kind of water, moisture, nothing in there because if you do, your chocolate will seize up. So we're gonna go ahead and pour the chocolate in here. And then I'm gonna put it in the microwave for about one minute. And then once that minute is done, I'm gonna stir it and then put it back in for another minute. Okay, so here it is after the one minute. It has melted down quite a bit and that's a good sign. So you wanna give it a really good mix um, and then you're gonna put it back in the microwave this has melted down a lot. So I think I'm just gonna put it in for 30 seconds just to get those little lumps out. And then I'm gonna get started on um, filling this mold. Okay, so the um, chocolate is completely melted now. And I, this is a little trick that I learned. Um, if you're using a piping bag, you could put it in a tall coffee mug or a really tall cup that you have. Just put it in push it down in there just like that and then you can pour your frosting or your your chocolate or scoop out your frosting and put it in there and then you just want to make sure it's all in there just like that I'll put that aside and pick this up that's how easy it is. Let me pull my apron on. Okay, so I had to put an apron on. I forgot to do that. So I have the chocolate right here in, in this. I'm gonna do the little snip off, but real quick I wanna tell you guys. Um, okay, so you see how it says Dodgers right there? You can actually change, you know, it doesn't have to be a solid chocolate or white or a solid color. You can actually do this a different color and then do the chocolate around it. Um, the only thing you have to do is you need like a really small fine paintbrush and you're gonna paint in the chocolate. It's tedious work, it's time consuming. So I opted out of that. I, you know, it's, it's a lot of work. So, but that is an option if you want a more dramatic and you want that Dodger to really pop out or whatever wording you have on there to pop out. That's how you add the chocolate to it. Chocolate is very um, loose, so you need to just make sure that you get just a paintbrush and you just paint it in there. That's all you're gonna do. So let me show you guys how to fill these um, with the paint. Okay, so I can only do three at a time. Um, if you're somebody that's doing multiple, 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 and you're doing a lot, it's a good idea to get extra trays. I don't make a ton of this stuff, so I have like one tray of each one, but I have like, I have a lot of molds. I think I probably have maybe about 35 or 40 molds of all different kinds of shapes and sizes, themes, everything that you can think of. Any kind of whatever it is that you wanna dip, I have molds for that. So I am going to get the chocolate. Now remember I said the chocolate is very loose. So all you wanna do is you just grab the bag from the top and the bottom and you're just gonna snip it at the end. Not a lot because it's gonna ooze out a ton and you wanna make sure that you have control over the chocolate. If you're new at doing this, 
Don't worry, it takes time to learn. Um, I still make mistakes sometimes. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna squeeze the chocolate in at the bottom, just like that. And then you're gonna add your pretzel. So you wanna make sure that your pretzel rod, this one I'm gonna use for the cake because I added too much chocolate down at the bottom and I. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, use this one for the cake. So let's go ahead and add the other two. Now I am going to fill the um, chocolate uh, gloves. Okay, so these ones are done and I did pop one out just to make sure and look how cute those came out. So I'm gonna get ready to wrap these up. I have some red ribbon. Um, I didn't buy this for this particularly. I had it left over from Valentine's. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this to tie them together. Um, it, this brings back a lot of memories because um, I, um, when I, I used to have an Etsy shop and when I used to sell on there, it was all nothing but treats like this. And then I did do sugar cookies. And so I used to use, I had tons and tons of this ribbon and um, just wrapping this stuff up just kind of reminds me of what I, I used to do a long time ago.
I am completely done. I am going to package these up and then I'm just gonna put them aside on my table. They're gonna stay on the table. My house stays really cool. You, If you make them ahead of time, because these are for Friday and today is Tuesday, um, if you make them ahead of time and you have room in your fridge, you can store them in your refrigerator. Um, that's fine, but just keep them in a cool place in your house, like in your kitchen somewhere. I mean, it's hot outside, so we have the air conditioner on. So um, I'm just gonna store them. I'm gonna package them, store them, and then I'll be done for the day. And then tomorrow, I am going to make the sugar cookies and then I'm gonna make the frosting that I need for the cake. And um, I'm gonna bake, um, I'm sorry. And then I'm gonna make the filling for the cake. I'm gonna do an or a chocolate Oreo cookie filling. So um, I am gonna finish this up. I'm gonna show you guys the finished product and then I'll be done for the day and I will see you guys tomorrow. And here is everything that I did for today.